So here's how you divide one by six. So when we divide one by six, we could just say that it's one over six, one six. So the fraction one six, that's one divided by six. Or if you wanted a decimal, you could take one and divide it by six longhand. So you could take one and we wanna see how many times six goes into one. Doesn't go into one, but if we put a zero and a decimal point up here, we could call this 10. Now, one times six, that's six. Subtract and you get four. Six doesn't go into four, so we'll move over one, call this 40. Six times seven is 42, that's too much. How about six times six, that's 36. We subtract and we get four. Okay, move over one, call it 40. And six times six is 36, we subtract we get four again. And you can see where this is going. Each time we just keep getting six. So we could write this as 0 0.16 with the six repeating, and that would be the most accurate way to write it. So 0 0.166666 just keeps going. You could round it. You could round it to 0 0.167, and your teacher might be okay with that. But I'd probably go with this up here. I think it's more accurate. Either way, when you divide one by six, you get the fraction one six or the decimal 0 0.16 with the six repeating, which you could round to 0 0.167. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.